Today, we will show you how you can use automation to schedule customized email notifications when issues are due. Stay tuned for the full tutorial. Welcome to Ellie Solutions for a Jira Automation Tutorial. My name is John and in this tutorial we will show you how you can use automation to send customized email notifications when issues are due. Automatically scheduling tasks can not only reduce manual work for your team, but also ensures consistency and reliability in your workflow. For example, if a support engineer has not completed a task by the due date, you can configure a rule to automatically send them a reminder to take an action on the ticket. You can also send a consolidated list of all tickets that are due to the team lead with all the relevant information. In the first rule, we will be sending daily emails to the assignees of the JIRA issues when the due date of an issue has passed. We will be using the smart values to ensure that we provide key fields in the email notification. Let's get started. Every rule starts with a trigger. Use the scheduled trigger. Set the schedule to run the rule every day at midnight. Check with a JQL condition to collect the list of tickets that have passed the due date. This will kick off the rule if the ticket has passed its due date. When we go to the validated issues, we get two hits. We can see that their due date has passed. We will disable the option to only include tickets that have changed since the last time the rule executed. Let's save the trigger. Select the send email action. Enter the recipient of the email by selecting the assignee of the current ticket. Enter the subject of the email. In this section, we will use a combination of text and a smart value to get the ticket's key. We will also include the summary. For more information on the smart values that are available, please refer to the link in the description. In the body, we will enter the ticket information with no special formatting. First, we will use the name of the user who owns the assigned ticket with the following smart value. Then, we remind the assignee that an action is required with the ticket's key and due date. We will then use a summary to list key information and bullet points. The ticket's name. The ticket status. The ticket's due date. And, the ticket's URL link. Let's select more options and change the sender's name to be Project XYZ Administrator. Let's save the action. Give your rule a name and publish it. Let's now run the rule manually to validate that it works. Let's go to the audit log. As you can see, the rule was executed successfully and it was applied to two tickets. Let's now review the email that was sent. As you can see, all the information has been included as desired. It includes all the key smart values that we outlined in our rule. We will now add HTML formatting so that our email looks more professional. We will highlight some key values and add a bulleted list to summarize the information. Refer to the description for the formatted email template. Uncheck the option to convert line breaks to HTML line breaks. Let's now save the rule and run it again.
Now you can see that the HTML formatting has been added. In the second rule, we will be sending a daily report to an administrator that summarizes all the issues that are due with key information. We will be using the lookup issues action and combine it with the usage of smart values. Let's create the new rule. Select the scheduled trigger. Set the trigger to run every day at midnight. Save the trigger. Add the lookup issues action. In the JQL, enter the same query as before, where we want to see the bug tickets that are overdue. Validate the query. Save the action. Let's add the send email action. For the recipient, we will add a specific email address. For the subject, we'll add the title, tickets due today and enter the smart value to get today's date. For the body of the email, we will add a greeting and then loop through every ticket that was found in the lookup issues action. For each ticket, we will include the key, summary, status, URL and assignee with the smart values. First you enter the lookup issues syntax. Then we will mix text and the smart values. Expand the more options to set the sender as Project XYZ Administrator. Save the action. Name the rule and publish it. Let's manually run the rule and check the audit logs. As you can see, the rule was executed successfully for two tickets. Now, let's look at the administrator's mailbox. As you can see, the email lists all the affected tickets. We will now add some HTML tags to add formatting to the email notification. Refer to the description for all the details. Ensure that you disable the option to convert line breaks to HTML line breaks. Save the rule and publish it. Run it again. Now, when we go back to the email, you can see that the formatting was applied. And that's how you can use automation to send scheduled custom email notifications. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you would like to be notified of new JIRA tutorials.